I'ma be happy. I'ma be good. You better believe it. I'ma be happy. I'ma be good. Get that understood. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Amina Mahogany back again for another video. So today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a chit chat get ready with me or not, but it's definitely gonna be a get ready with me. Um, we're gonna do my new makeup routine and so let's get into it okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and put on some spf on my face nothing major it's spf 55 i think jackie said like past spf 30 it doesn't do anything but this is a physical spf that i'm putting on and i'm just putting it on to protect my skin, especially since I have problem skin, I like to put on SPF every day. Some days I do forget, like I would say one out of seven days of the week I do forget, but that's okay, at least I'm remembering the other days. And so I'm also going to put on this blistex on my lips to prepare them for what I'm gonna do. Okay, so in this makeup routine, I basically do not use foundation. I like the way powder alone looks on my face, and so the powder that I've been using is the Maybelline Fit Me um, Loose Finish Powder in number four, Dark, and so that's what I've been using on my face instead of foundation. So I always put on primer first. I've been using the NYX Pore Filler Primer, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on my face. Um, I'm excited because I just got this camera, uh, the Canon G7X Mark II, and I'm still learning how to use it, but already there's like a difference in quality that I'm loving, and so I'm really happy that I invested in this camera. Um, because it just makes everything better. It'll make my Instagram pictures better. It'll make my YouTube videos better. It just makes life better. And one thing I want to say is that you have to know when to take risks and when to invest in yourself because um, nobody else is going to invest in yourself and love yourself like you can. And once you learn to invest in yourself and love yourself and do things for yourself, it's like, you know, it's the best thing ever. And you'll love the feeling that you feel. And then after that, you're going to basically be unstoppable. So, unstoppable. <laughs> I said unstoppable. I meant unstoppable. Okay, anyway, moving on. So I'm going to use the um, Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil for my brows. I have the color number 6 and so that's what I'm going to use on my brows. Crazy thing, so I ordered a table from Ikea to put all my makeup stuff on because it would like roll off the table when I was doing videos before and that was just like such a hassle to like have to in the middle of a video bend down and like pick stuff up off the floor and so I bought a mirror a magnifying light up mirror with the table so that I could have um, a mirror to look in when I do like my brows and stuff um, on camera and they freaking sent me two tables instead of a table and a mirror and I'm like I was looking at the return policies and um, the policy where they come pick big items up for you um, that you can't just like drop off at the post office but they have a price for that and I'm like first of all I didn't order 
like first of all I didn't order two tables I ordered a table and a mirror and so now I gotta wait for them to email me back because I tried calling them and I was on the phone for like an hour and nobody picked up so I just decided to email them and now I gotta wait for this mirror and they better not charge me to come pick up this table because I did not buy two tables my invoice said a mirror and a table not two tables <clears throat> so excuse me if I'm looking down while I'm trying to do my eyebrows but it's because they didn't give me the mirror and I know I haven't done like makeup videos in a long time but it's honestly just because I wasn't wearing any makeup like I would go out with my skin like this like with no makeup on or I would just wear extremely minimal makeup which I'm showing you now my routine for now and like I just because I was still working a full-time job which I am not anymore but we will do a video on that and so um, I just I was tired all the time and I never felt like doing my makeup so I stopped doing my makeup and there was this one time where I tried to like do my makeup and it, it went all wrong like to do a full face like I did <laughs> I did my eyeshadow first and then I went in and did my eyebrows and then I did my foundation and then I had forgot to put on my SPF and all this crazy stuff because I hadn't done my makeup in so long but <clears throat> hopefully now um, you know I could do a little bit better and start doing makeup videos again but on an everyday basis, this is the hair, um, almost said this is the hairstyle that I wear. This is the makeup that I wear. Uh, and I don't wear makeup every day, but on the days that I do wear makeup, this is what I do. I do want to get back into doing like full faces, but... It is a lot to be doing a full face and makeup every day. And I love me a full face and makeup. It's just too much, especially when you don't have nowhere to go. Like if I was um, going to a bunch of events every day or going out and doing something spectacular every day, then I would do a full face every day. But right now it's just a little bit much for me. So I stick to this and I've been wanting to do this um, new makeup routine for, for you guys for a minute now but I really wanted to wait on the camera so that I can like zoom in on my face. Oh and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut to highlight my eyebrows and to clean them up. Normally I would take a makeup brush to do this. Um, just so I didn't have like any accidents or anything but um, to use more of the product to get more of the product I use this first and then I go back in with a makeup brush And I know they look kind of crazy right now, but we will fix those. So recently I started going under my eye with a little concealer just because my under eye has been really dark. And I am using something for that now, but just go around the places that like have shadows on my face. I want it. Shadows.
I'ma just go ahead and do my eyebrows as well. This is just like a fluffy, a fluffy flat brush if you're wondering. It doesn't have a name, it's from BH Cosmetics. I need some new brushes, like I need some new brushes and a bunch of places sell brushes and I don't know where to buy them from. And when I watch other makeup gurus on YouTube, they always have all these different brushes and I'm just like, I just want a set of brushes. Is that lazy? That I just like want a set of brushes and I don't want to buy a bunch of them separate? So, at this point, I normally go back and fix my eyebrows wherever they need to be fixed. And then what I do is kind of like go in and like lighten up the front of my brows so that they're not so dark. And what I do is just pat um, some of the product away. But I just pat very lightly. Cool beans. So now I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face. And what's next is the powder. So normally I use a brush, well, not this one. I use this kind of brush to put on my powder and I'll spray this matte finish NYX setting spray. It don't do much for me, but it does add moisture to the brush, which makes the powder stick to the brush better. Um, but today I'm gonna try using the Real Technique, the Real Techniques sponge for my powder, and I am gonna dampen it with this. So let's try that out. And I'm just getting it damp as I would if um, I was using water. I'm just gonna take some of the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in dark. I'm gonna tap it out into the top and then I'm gonna dip this into the top and put it on my face. I'm just doing that and I'm gonna pat it. And you see how it like just blurs my face? Like 100% yeah this this is this let me tell you something this is 100% better than the brush method like and the only reason why I started doing this is because Jackie Ina did does it before she puts on her foundation and I saw that um, it gave her like a light coverage and she uses the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder which I do have but it's a little bit light for me um, which is why I use the Maybelline fit me in dark but some, most days like okay let me be real with y'all real quick so the reason that I would wear foundation like like every day so like of course you wear foundation and do a whole face if you're going out somewhere right if you want to look cute but I was asking myself like why am I putting on so much foundation and I'm literally going to sit in an office all day or like why am I putting on so much foundation and I'm not even like going anywhere and to be honest, it was because I was trying to hide 
Look at, like, look at that. Look at that. It was because I was trying to hide my dark spots and um, I wanted flawless, seamless skin. And I didn't have that. Like, that's not something that I had. Like, I've had acne since <clears throat> fifth grade and it's never like ever been clear since then and so I decided to stop wearing so much foundation stop wearing so much makeup and just focus on trying to clear my skin and so I stopped wearing foundation and makeup for a while but then I started to like miss it and so I decided to do this method which Jackie does before she puts on her foundation and just wear it like without foundation and it gives me the same type of look that foundation would give me but it's not as thick and um, pore clogging as foundation is and so I've just become really comfortable with just wearing this loose powder every day as my foundation I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna let y'all see how flawless this is like look at my skin and you know I still have like I still have problem areas here on this side of my face but I don't really mind because that's just like that's the truth like I have problem skin and what I'm doing okay so my grandma just tried to run away um, I had to go get her but as I was saying I like this better it's like a flawless type of finish to me it looks cute so I would just do something like this I haven't really been doing mascara just because I don't like the mascara takeoff at the end of the day but sometimes I do wear mascara so I will go ahead and um, put some on and the mascara that I've been using normally I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara but I've been using the OG mascara that I used to use in high school which is the Maybelline Fossies Volume Express and Unless I'm like going out somewhere, um, I don't put much on. So I just put like a little, 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 little bit. So, two more things the lip and the highlights, the glow. So. For my glow, I use the e.l.f. Pressed um, Highlight and Blush Gems. So I just use that when I want like a really light glow on my face. And I just use a small fan brush. And you see, like it just gives the cutest, softest, like glow and you don't have to use much then I go in with my Fenty Beauty gloss balm and the Beauty Bakery metallic lip whip and hazelnut swirl and so I do kind of like a 90s look um with this I was wearing the gloss balm by itself for a long time and then I felt like I was missing something so I just went ahead and said let me add this so, I just outline my lips with hazelnut swirl. Yeah, there is a 100% difference in using the Real Technique sponge um, for my powder and using a brush. Like, Jackie knows what she's talking about. And she uses a beauty blender, but I had a beauty blender and it was just too soft for me like it chipped and like broke too easily so i'm not about that beauty bender life but 
I do love that Real Technique sponge. I've used it for almost a year now. So, these are new, but the product is not new to me. So, this lip whip is matte, and so I like for it to dry down. Before I go in with the gloss bomb, let me zoom in for y'all so y'all can see what it's looking like right now. The lip whip looks like this. Then I'm going to just go ahead and go in with Okay cool, I know it looks kind of ashy but it won't look this ashy once my oils like set in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out so you can see the whole face. Okay so this is what I'm looking like today this is the whole face it's cute it's simple it's like boom you know no makeup makeup um, it did take me a while just because I was trying to show it to y'all but that's okay my face is darker than the rest of my body um, but like I said it won't look so ashy when the oils come through um, overall I'm really happy with how this turned out and so yeah this is my no makeup makeup new makeup everyday routine I hope you guys like it hope you guys enjoyed it I wasn't too chit chatty um I find chit chat get ready with me hard because like I never know what to talk about but that's okay we will improve as time goes by Again, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on Monday for the next video. Peace, love, and blessings to all of you.